video we are going to be making little moons well trying to be making i'm really excited obviously everyone knows about the trend of little moons going around it's like really big on tiktok everyone wants to get their hands on them luckily i managed to get my hands on um the coconut flavor and the passion fruit and mango flavor and they're just insane. So of course, I wanted to try and make my own. So yeah, that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. I really do hope you enjoy this video. Obviously, it's a different one for me. If you do enjoy, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Let me know as well if you'd like to see any more videos like this. Like, I can try anything else out. Because I'd be more than happy to do them. Yeah, let's just get on into this video. So I first saw this idea on Anastasia's channel. And she did like a three course meal of like making herself her starter, her main and her dessert. And she made these for her dessert. So I, that's where I got my idea from. And I've seen quite a few other people have done it since. So yeah, I just wanted to have a go. I thought it'd be quite a fun video and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. I have got laid in front of me some ingredients. There's not a lot that goes into it. It's just very like you have to be, work quickly apparently. So I did have a look at a video last night on YouTube and I'll just pop it on the screen as well. I'll link it in the description. This is the video that I'm going to be like playing today and going by. I find it so much easier following a video, like physically watching a video rather than like going off instructions. So I have got instructions in front of me as well because I've got the ingredients just so that I can tell you what you need. I'm obviously filming on my big camera. I have also got my vlogging camera too so then I can get some different angles for you and obviously you can see what I'm doing. So we have got a mixing bowl and a whisk. Also got a rolling pin. I've got one cup of rice flour. So you need glutinous rice flour which I ordered on Amazon. So this is what it looks like this is the one that I got if I can link it I'll link it in the description as well for you just because I know it is hard to get hold of I don't know if we can buy it here in shops you need a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar which I've got here you then need one cup of water which is here and you need some cornstarch for dusting which I've got my cornstarch in this little pot here and then the last thing you need is ice creams. Obviously any ice cream of your choice. I've got two flavours. I've got vanilla and I've got cookie dough. Obviously I will show you them once I get them out of the freezer. I'm not getting them out now because I don't want them to melt. I need them to be obviously frozen. So the other things that I have is a cutter because obviously you need that to cut the mochi, mochi. Um, I've got like a little rubber spatula to help me with the mochi. I've got food colourings to put in the water just in case I want to um, do a little bit of colour. I don't know which one, I'm, I think I want to make purple so I'm going to do pink and blue together. Um, so yeah, I've got pink and blue food colouring. I've also got vanilla extract just to make the mochi taste nicer. Pink film, a tray with greaseproof paper on it the mochi as well and then the last thing I have is these cone like cupcake cases because on this video that I watched he used like an egg carton to keep the balls of the ice cream in shape and I haven't got an egg carton so I just thought I'm going to use these because sometimes the tins of like that you'd use for Yorkshire puddings or something are just too big so I'm hoping that the balls will stay in their shape in these um just a bit of trial and error really so yeah I've got them as well so the first thing that I need to do is pre-scoop the ice cream I need to cut the bits of cling film up just to put in there just so then the ice cream can stay in like a ball shape so I'm just going to cut the cling film like so and then I'm going to cut that cling film in half as well I don't know how many I'm going to make to be honest so I'm just going to do as probably what six or eight balls maybe so let me just leave them bits of cling film there on the side <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I'll leave this one on here and then I'll just get my ice cream out. So the ice cream that I chose was the Ben & Jerry's cookie dough ice cream and then I also got the Cartier Dior, Cart Dior, Cart Dior, Cart Dior, Cartier Dior, I don't even know how to say it but I got some vanilla ice cream as well. So we'll make three vanilla ones and three cookie dough and then um, obviously We'll see how it goes. You know what? If this actually does work and it all works out all right, I'm definitely going to be making more because then it'll save me from spending £4.50 on one box of Little Moon. So let's scoop out the vanilla first. Also get the ice cream scoop out as well. This ice cream is super soft. So it's definitely going to be... Yeah, look, it's melting already. It's not even been out of the freezer for long. Once that is on the cling film you're going to want to just pop the cling film into the little tub like so and then pop it straight into the freezer because you don't want them to melt. ice cream we are now going to move on to the actual mochi so I've got my bowl like I said at the start you're going to need one cup of glutinous rice flour which we've got here so I'm going to pour that into my bowl and then you're also going to want to mix in the granulated sugar which you need a quarter of a cup of as well which obviously I've already measured out so I'm going to just pour that in as well I know it is quite a little bit of sugar, but apparently you need it to make the mochi soft. So now I'm just going to mix those in so then they're combined together. The rice flour smells really weird. It does literally smell like Little Moons though. I really do have high hopes for this. I hope it works. They are now fully combined. You are then going to want to take the water so obviously I've measured this water out there is 236 millilitres in here which is one cup so I'm just going to pour it straight in this is a nerve-wracking bit but yeah pour it straight in and then obviously mix that all up video that I followed as well they didn't obviously put in any food colouring or vanilla essence or anything but I'm gonna add that myself because I just think it will make it taste nicer and it will just make it look better basically so I'm gonna put a little bit of pink food colouring in there like so mix that in oh wow it's gone such a nice like pinky colour, if you can see that. I'm going to add the most tiniest little bit of blue now, just to try and make it like purpley. Oh, that wasn't a tiny bit. Maybe I've put a bit too much in there, but we'll see. <laughs> oh no, there we go. It has gone like a creamy, purpley pink still looks a bit pink but I don't dare add any more because obviously then that's more liquid so there is the food colouring let's add the tiniest bit of vanilla extract that wasn't really a tiny bit <laughs> but oh well so a little bit of vanilla extract in there as well mix that in so here is what the mixture is looking like pinky purpley colour so now what we're going to want to do is just cover the 
top of the bowl with cling film, plastic wrap, whatever you call it. Let's cover the top like so and then we're gonna go and pop it into the microwave for one minute. There we go, it's out of the microwave, it's been in there for a minute so what we need to do now is just unfold the cling film and whisk it together and it says that you can whisk it on the first round just to get the little chunks that are in there just mixed in so that's what I'm gonna do it did start to harden though so it's still quite runny though as you can hear so that is done we want to just pop that back over again and then gonna put it into the microwave again for another minute. So once I've got this one out of the microwave, it then says you need to fold it. So I have got a silicone spatula here and it says just to dip it in water just so then it doesn't, because the mochi is gonna be getting sticky, just so then it doesn't stick to the actual spatula, it's just better to have it dipped in water. So that is what I'm gonna do. So yeah, we're just waiting for the microwave to beat now. Here is the mixture, so let's just get the cling film and fold it backwards. We're going to fold it inwards, oh wow, it's still quite runny though. I don't know if it may need a little bit longer just because obviously I've put in that um, food colour in, so I don't know if that's going to have changed it or not, but it says now to just pop it in for... 30 seconds so i'm going to do that and then if it does need longer i can then pop it in go. here it is i think i'm going to have to use another thingy of cling film because this is broke well we'll see if we need any more cling film so let's just fold it together oh my god yeah, it's going to need a little bit longer because it is still runny. But it's coming together. So let's put it in for a further 30 seconds and see how we go. It is out. Let's take the cling film off and do a little bit more folding. So this looks perfect, it looks like his does. So now we need to get the grease proof paper, I've just popped it on here, and you need to dust it with corn flour. So I'm gonna just dust some corn flour over here, all on it, because it says you need to be generous, because it does get very, it's very sticky. Dust it all over. Oh God, I'm getting it everywhere. Right, and then you want to get your mochi and just pop it in the middle. Well, that wasn't very in the middle. And then you're gonna want to pour some more corn flour over the top like so and just dust it oh my god it's like really wiggly wow oh my god it's really hot as well like really hot so i'm just also gonna get that corn flour and pop it over the rolling pin as well just so then the mixture doesn't stick to the rolling pin Oh, it's really, really weird. Like, so strange. And it smells all rank. So, obviously, I just want to roll it out just so then it's enough for six. It's getting really sticky there, so. Just so then it's enough for six little mochi balls to be made from. Oh, the texture is so strange. So now what you want to do is carefully transfer this 
Oh God, how am I gonna do this? Carefully, ah! Oh, it's so heavy. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh! I literally don't know how I'm gonna do it without ruining it. Because it, because it's warm, it's, might need to shout my mum. Mum! Can you just come and help me, please? I just need your help, please. <laughs> just get the other side of this and just pop it onto that baking tray, please. It's just getting, it got stuck. So here is my thing. I'm now gonna pop it into the fridge for 20 minutes. So I will get back to you in 20 minutes once the mochi, mochi, however you want to say it, has had time to set. A few moments later. I've got the mochi dough out of the fridge, so it's cold now. I'm now gonna obviously cut the six little shapes out of it. I have got my little cookie, cookie cutter thing here. So I'm gonna try and get the six out of this. I think they're all gonna be a bit different like thicknesses because I don't really think that I've rolled it out very evenly, but I've literally got cornflour everywhere. I'm gonna try and cut six little circles out of the dough. So hopefully it works. we've got those six shapes all cut out we're gonna get the ice cream balls out of the freezer one at a time and wrap them in a little bit of mochi we do it one at a time just so then the ice cream doesn't obviously melt because this part apparently you have to work really quickly so I'm gonna get one ball out and then we're gonna wrap it up um, and then I'll probably fast forward the rest of it so then obviously you can see what I'm doing so sticky so I'm just gonna dip in just rub it says to dust some of the corn flour off but I'm actually gonna rub some into the back of this one because it's just a little bit sticky on the bottom but yeah let's work really quick let's put this ball of ice cream onto the thing Like so, move that out of your way, and then I'm gonna just wrap the mochi around, pinch it all together. They're not gonna be as um, aesthetically pleasing as actual little moons because <laughs> they're just not. Right, quickly pick that up, pop it into a little bit of cling film and just wrap it up. Oh, oh no, the ice cream started to come out already. Oh well, doesn't matter. That's why we have to work so fast. So that one's exploded a tiny little bit, but I'm now gonna pop that back into the little thing and pop it straight back into the freezer. So I'm gonna stop talking now and do the others just so then we don't have any catastrophes. <laughs> There we go, sorted, it's all done. They're gonna set in the freezer. I'll either come back tomorrow or tonight um, and obviously show you the finished results. So I will see you in either a few hours or tomorrow. Several days later. Hey everyone, it is a couple of days later now. It is now Sunday and my little moons have froze. I've just got it out of the freezer, so I've just got to wait five minutes for it to kind of defrost. I waited a couple of days because I thought, you know what, I want to give 
them the full like test and I thought leaving them for a few hours on like the night that I made them was just gonna not be enough I don't think and I don't think I would have got the full like experience if that's what you call it but yeah I wanted to leave them for a couple of days so it's been a couple of days now I left them all day yesterday and then today I'm going to try it so like I say I have got one here it is now a little bit squishy which is good I don't know which one it is I don't know if it's the cookie dough or the vanilla but I'm really excited to try it excuse what I look like I look in an absolute state I've just got out of the shower um, shoved my hair up. Excuse my nails as well. I've got like two missing. I've got my little one and this one missing. Let's try this little moon. It looks so good. Oh, all the ice is like coming off. Uh, it actually looks really good. It's a bit lumpy and bumpy, but obviously that's where it had to um, like mould together. There we go. A little bit icy as well, but it looks good. Let's give it a try it's gonna be so cold it's freezing oh my god it is literally so cold I've got the cookie dough one I can see the cookie dough it's so cold oh my god it's literally the exact same see like the cookie dough pieces inside chewy like the same taste Oh my god, I am so impressed. I can't believe it. I actually can't get over that it's worked. I've made mine obviously quite big as well. Mmm. 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 Wow. If this isn't your time, go and make your own little moons because I kid you not, they taste the exact same. I am so impressed. I'm definitely going to be making these again. You know what, when I was actually making the mochi, uh, mochi, however you say it, I really don't know how you say it. I was so impressed like with the texture and how it, how it was looking because the videos that I'd watched before, it looked the exact same. I can't get over it. It's li look how like squishy it is. Oh, it's, oh, it's perfect. I'm so happy. Mm, mm, mm. Tastes insane. I love the fact that it's come out pink as well. I'm glad the actual food colouring didn't go like discoloured. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna eat the rest of it off camera now because they're so big. I made them quite big because obviously I only made six. I made them quite big because I had quite a bit of mochi and obviously the ice cream balls were quite big as well. Yeah, so I'm gonna eat the rest off camera. I am so impressed. I literally didn't have high hopes for it at all because I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm bad in the kitchen, like, I'm quite good at cooking, like when I've got something to follow, that's when I'm good. Making like stuff from the top of my head, I can't do that, but if I have something to follow then I'm fine. So I'll leave the video that I followed in the description down below, I'll also leave a list of the ingredients that you need, but yeah, I really enjoyed this video, it was so good. Let me know if you want to see any more baking videos because I'll be sure to do them. I'm definitely going to be making these again, so if you want to see a part two of making Little Moons, maybe some different flavours, different colours of mochi as well, because obviously I've got some rice flour left as well now, so I'll be more than happy to do a part two or something if you want to see that. So yeah, just let me know down below. Really, really enjoyed this video, I hope you did too. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Make sure you go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's just so good. I'm just obsessed. I can't believe I've done it. Wow.